Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about three things you need to do before Beyond Light drops next week. Somehow I can't believe it, we're already in the final week before Beyond Light drops. Um, so we want to make sure we get kind of tie all our loose ends here. And the first thing we're going to go over is the Nightfall. Uh, Bungie sort of surprised us this week, they've done it a couple times this season. Uh, with double Nightfall loot, and this is another week of that, and it is Nocris if you're in the lower Nightfalls, if you're doing the Grandmaster, or maybe Grandmaster for sure, or maybe the 1080 as well, um, but I think just Grandmaster, you can switch it to the Lake of Shadows, and you get to choose which one you want to do. Um, so both extremely fast Nightfalls, great ways to farm Ascendant Shards primarily, as well as Enhancement Prisms, and just better rolls on your exotics overall. Now, getting ready for Beyond Light, we know that a lot of the stuff as far as bounties are concerned um, won't necessarily give us the boost that we want. You know, they might affect the leveling of different vendors. However, as far as raw materials, such as Ascendant Shards, this is these are going to be invaluable, especially when uh, Beyond Light comes out. Um, you're going to need it to upgrade your, your exotics. You're going to want it right off the bat. So my highly, I highly suggest you stock up on them. Um, even if you're not the biggest fan of PvE or you're sick of the strikes, uh, it's a great opportunity to really get some loot fast as well. Now there's nothing really special to run here for weapons. You can really run whatever you want. The build I have for the uh, Nocris strike here or Nightfall is one of my favorite ones. You know, you're running Top Tree, Noble Bomb with Oppressive Darkness, with the void, uh, Vortex Grenade. In addition to Hive Armaments, which there's only Hive enemies in this uh, strike, and uh, Anarchy. You know, Anarchy really can't be beat when it comes to activities like this. Um, you know, you could argue Telesto is really good, especially for this strike, but uh, Anarchy is the way to go. And you can just sit here and spam, more or less, Anarchy shots. Now, because it is double loot, uh, one of the things, depending on the level you're doing, if you're at least doing the 1050, you're going to get a lot of exotics. Uh, Probably with some decent rolls, and they may not be rolls right away that you think you might use, but if you have the vault space, or you can even kind of keep them in your postmaster, um, I would highly suggest keeping more rolls than you think you might need. Just when Beyond Light drops, I truly feel like it's going to be a completely new experience for us, and with that, there might be new playstyles or new synergistic ways of playing with our new subclasses, our new stasis subclasses. Um, so we just want to be more prepared than not. So if you have the space, I highly recommend keeping a couple doubles of exotics, obviously armor, um, and just making sure um, they're different roles. You know, so one might be really high strength, and it might be kind of a melee build, um, and then you might get a piece that's very high intellect, um, trying to get your super back quicker. And whether that's PvE or PvP, we're not really sure what the meta is going to be. And I have a strong feeling with how big Beyond Light is as a game, it's going to shake things up a little bit more than we might anticipate. Um, I'm really hoping we kind of get this open environment in terms of the utility of our vault. We can kind of use more or less anything we want. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later uh, in this video as well, um, but highly suggest getting into the Nightfall. Get those double loot rewards um, and just start uh, saving all the materials. You'll notice here, um, as we finish up this strike, one last Nova Bomb, so we can get some loot. This is the 1020, I was trying to help a friend do this one. Um, but still decent rewards, and this is a very easy strike to do. So make sure you guys get in there and get that loot. Alright, so next is Umbral Engrams. Now, I've already done a video on this. Aw, look at that emote. And... I just can't emphasize this enough. There's so many S tier and meta weapons in these umbrals that I know you've kind of gotten a little bit uh, overwhelmed with just the amount of umbrals you get, but I think it's time in this last week to start refocusing them, trying to get the absolute best rolls we can get. Uh, here I think I have seven. <clears throat> now you can completely skip over the basic um, and go to the second tier, assuming you have that unlocked for the improved arsenal. Uh, doing one there. Cold Denial, Pulse Rifle, and the Fallen Guillotine Sword. Both excellent weapons. Uh, even though this sword is getting nerfed, it's still very much worth getting. 
trying to get something like Relentless Strike with Whirlwind Blade pairs beautifully together. And Cold Denial is a high impact pulse. Great for the Crucible. Um, so make sure to keep, uh, keep one of each of those. Moving on to this Umbral, it is the Worthy Focused with the 7th Seraph SMG, which can produce War Mind Cells, and the um, Shotgun, which if you don't have it is very good as well. I'm going to drop one there. And I think I got two there maybe. And then if you don't have Breach Light, the Sidearm, or Martyr's Retribution, both fun guns, not necessarily staying for the long term, um, but I would get them for sure. Moving on down the line to this Gnawing Hunger slash uh, Night's Watch, I believe that scout is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you definitely want Gnawing Hunger. Um, I assume you probably have a couple. Just try to keep one or two of your best rolls, whether it's for PvP or you prefer using it in PvE. It's definitely going to be around for a long time, even though that archetype of autos is getting a slight uh, nerf. And next here, I'm just kind of spending two engrams on this Ikelo Sniper. Just trying to get a PvE roll. Actually, I already have the PvP, what I consider the god roll. Um, and lastly, if you don't have one, it's good to get a um, SMG from the last Umbral. And uh, if you don't have Gifts of Light and Dark, make sure you upgrade all those uh, for the next season as well, if you haven't already. Let's see what I get here from my Focused. Usually I have pretty bad luck when it comes to this. Do, 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 do. Not bad. So yeah, make sure to focus those Umbral Engrams. And the last thing we're going to talk about today is... No, not the Menagerie. Although I'll give a special shout out to that. It's actually making sure we get all of our exotics collected. Especially the, the quest ones that are going away. Um... And if you need a link for those, feel free to drop me a message. I'll try to find the list and put it in the description below. Um, but even more importantly, if you have the exotics, making sure you finish the associated catalyst with that exotic. For instance, Telesto is associated with a raid, as is Sleeper Stimulant. Um, those are a couple you know, good ones. I personally don't have either of those. I haven't done the raids, but um, just as an example of catalyst to acquire before they go away. Now, my... My assumption, if I had to go out on a limb, there's no way they're getting rid of catalysts for exotics that are already in the game. Um, so they're just going to be in the game in a different, in a different uh, way than they are currently. Which I, I'm personally excited for. I'm not necessarily concerned that they're going away. Um, and the quest exotics, I wouldn't be surprised if they get thrown into the world loop pool. Um, having said that though, it could also make it more difficult for you to get the newer exotics that come out with Beyond Light if you haven't gotten some of the old ones as they might just keep coming up uh, every time you open an exotic engram. <clears throat> so if you're unsure, make sure to check your quest tab. Um, just see where you're at with those uh, exotics and exotic catalysts. If you already have the exotic catalyst unlocked, you don't have to worry about finishing the catalyst, but just make sure you have it unlocked for that weapon. And the last thing I kind of want to talk about today is the Menagerie. A special shout out to my favorite activity in Destiny 2 that is going away. Uh, I think this is my 100th run through the Menagerie. Very fun activity. Uh, six person match made activity with tons of variety. And you get to choose your rewards at the end, which is the best part. You put runes into a chalice and you get to decide what you get at the end. I think here I went for an Ostringer, the hand cannon. Um, I think that's going to be really strong next season. So if you like this video, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are and what you're prepping for for Beyond Light. I'd love to know. Drop a comment below. And I will see you in the next video.